Pessoal, olá novamente ao canal Amantes do Aquarismo. Meu nome é Thiago Prado e sejam bem-vindos a mais um episódio do nosso quadro Apresentando os Aquários dos Canais. E no vídeo de hoje, pessoal, feito em live novamente com vocês inscritos do Amantes do Aquarismo em live. A gente já vai falar sobre isso. Mostramos um aquário muito legal, galera. Um aquário plantadinho, pequenininho, muito bonitinho, que ele não usa termostato e também não usa filtro. Será que esse aquário deu certo? Será que ele ficou bonito? Vocês vão ver que é um canal sensacional. É gringo, mas é um canal sensacional. Ansiosa, então agora, bora pro vídeo. É isso aí galera, pra quem está perdido aí, falei de lives né, vocês não devem ter visto nenhuma live aqui no YouTube né, porque eu estou fazendo lives todas as segundas-feiras, às 8h30 em outra plataforma específica de lives pessoal, pra quem quiser acompanhar todas as segundas-feiras, 8h30 da noite, como hoje está acontecendo também, vai acontecer a live, que eu vou deixar o link na descrição do vídeo pra vocês se inscreverem no nosso canal lá de lives também e participarem lá. É isso aí, vamos assistir o vídeo, mas antes disso, pra quem é inscrito, não se esqueça de se inscrever no canal, clicar no sininho, dar like no vídeo também, siga a gente no Instagram, que é o Monstro Aquarismo, na Twitch, que é Thiago Prado, com um zerinho no lugar do Alda Thiago. Então, bora lá. Esse aquário aqui, galera, é, de, é MD Fish Tanks, ele é gringo, e ele tá, falando, ele tá fazendo um tutorial de Aquascape, né, que é a parte do, de organizar o aquário e tudo mais. É, três galões, galão eu não lembro quantos litros dá, acho que é vezes três, deve ser uns 15 litros, alguma coisa assim, Nano Aquarium com é, Rasboratilli. Aí ele vai mostrar aí como é que ele tá fazendo aí um aquarinho bem pequeno, deve ter entre 9 a 15 litros mais ou menos, creio eu. Eu vou só aumentar um pouquinho a velocidade, galera, porque tem quase 20 minutos o vídeo. Vamos ver como é que vai estar esse vídeo aí, 3, 2, 1 e bora lá. Tá fazendo um resumo pro realmente, né? Isso aí. Agora ele vai mostrar como é que monta. Colocar a legenda. Não dá nem pra ver a legenda. Second tank I ever purchased. Purchased, bought. That sounded weird. Anyway, my wife went away for one weekend and I grabbed the opportunity to buy a second tank. I don't recommend it. She wasn't happy when we got back, but that doesn't matter. Anyway, já tinha aquário. So the tank I'm talking about, of course, is this one here. It's a little overgrown. I'm not gonna lie. It sits nicely between all of these, though, doesn't it? But the plants are really, really healthy. You can see that. It's just loads of really nice sort of leaves there of course they are the plants <laughs> so that's hydrocotyl japan that one that looks like a little clover and i'm definitely going to save that but yeah really fun size we could do something really simple with it just like i did before which is basically just a staggered bunch of plants <laughs> from the front to the back and just let it do its thing but first of all we've got to get these plants out Mate up a pouquinho. Esse cara, esse cara tem bastante aquário plantado, né? <risos> oh, well, that turned out pretty well. Look at how good these plants are. I could have pulled that all out, to be honest, as one section, but I, I thought it'd be too difficult to sort of manage. But yeah, we've got some Rotala HR out of it. We've got Limnophila, Rotala Rotundifolia, and the Hydrocot Japan as well. So we've got a few good plants there to choose from. I'm gonna, only going to pick the best because some of them are quite scraggly because they haven't been getting any light. Tá limpando o aquário, vai remontar ele, né? Aí tava usando aquele aquário pra, pra cultivar aquelas plantinhas. E agora ele vai montar. Ó, 10 litros. Acertei. <risos> Aí tem uma luminária bem simples. So for our substrate system, quads. we are going to be using soil. This is soil from my garden. So what you want to do is go and peel back some grass somewhere. Ah, ele tá usando soil, solo da, do jardim dele mesmo. Vocês viram? Ele colocou soil from my garden. Então ele tá usando solo do jardim mesmo. Deve ser tipo uso. E provavelmente vai fazer alguma camada aí inerte por cima para tampar. So I mean, this is way too much for that tank, for instance. And then just put it in the oven, dry it right out, and then you can remove any sticks and bits of grass and stuff ah, like that. Ah, ele vai esquentar. So easy to do. And then you just got this really good natural source of nutrients for your plants. Now this stuff is so nutrient dense, so we do not want it in the você não conhecia. Você não conseguiu ver bem, galera? Não sei Você que vai fazer o Enem 2020, não esquece. Ah, meu Deus. Meu Deus. Tá bom, tá bom, tá bom, foi. É, talvez desse jeito ele consiga matar as algas. Será que ele consegue matar as algas colocando no forno? Porque ele tá misturando, é isso? 
do extrato, acho que ele não vai colocar o inerte por cima, a gente tá misturando. So that's our nutrient rich base layer taken care of. If you notice there, right in the foreground, look, I've, I've pushed it backwards. We don't really want to see this gravel, it can be quite ugly. And this allows us to put our sand capping all the way to the foreground. But it's probably a good idea again, on top of this now, just to put some clean gravel and then our sand. We can plant into the sand then and the roots of the plants will find its way into this nutrient rich base layer. É espatulazinha igualzinha que eu tenho no Chantec. Igualzinha, mesma coisa. Yeah, sorry, scratch that. I think I was in aquascaping mode or something. Of course we want the gravel to be shown at the front. This is going to be a fun tank that we can like observe little changes to. So having that layer on show, we'll just show either roots going into it or get colonized by sort of little critters and things. But yeah, we definitely want to keep that on show. So on top of that now we cap it with sand. Aí tá colocando areia. Agora, substrato bem arenoso. Né? Ah, ele misturou o que ele fez com esse cascalho, mas... Well, not the foreground, about an inch of the foreground, and then look, you can see to the side there, sort of, well, slightly tapers up, whatever. But that's plenty, it's a good little depth there to be able to plant into, because as you plant into that, it'll just, it'll grip the bottom of the stems, and be nice and easy. Areia. Nothing worse than when you ah, haven't got enough depth. Assim. Put your plant in, fill it up with water, and then the whole lot just comes out. <laughs> oh, painful. So what we need now is our hardscape, and for that, I'm just going to go for some little pebbles. You guys know I love a few little pebbles, and I'm going to go for some black ones, just like I did when I first set this up. It was a really good look, and I just feel like I can do an even better job this time. Now is probably a good time to tell you about my new merch. This is designed by me myself. It was designed mm -hmm. by me myself. I think it's really cool, but then I like fish. Most fish people are weird, it's so I wear the massive fish on my hood. Assim, so this so design so. is actually based on my female turquoise discus. So thank you very much to her for being the supermodel. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, click the link above or in the description if you want to grab one. Agora é fazer o hardscape planchou. Vou com umas pedrinhas boladas, né? So it doesn't get any more simple than that, guys, does it? I love doing little scapes like that. It's just so punchy, very simple. This is definitely a tank for everyone. So recently I've been doing quite a lot of big builds and I wanted to just strip it back, you know, go back to the roots and just do something super simple that everyone else can do. Again, I'm gonna leave the links for everything in the description so you guys can find this stuff. If it's not the model, it'll be something similar. But now is a really good time for us to start adding our plants in. Simple foreground with some hair grass. And then just stagger stems in little bunches all the way to the back, kind of like a Dutch style scape but less formal, if you like. And this area down here is where I'm going to be getting Nossa, plants from. It's a little bit murky because I've very recently just pushed them dele, in. Né? Um, so we've got the hair grass <laughs> there. Vem vem used, and I've got aí? some established versions of some of the other plants. So that plant Olha, there is muito tarde. Hey, plant. Plant. Love, we've got some really nice Olha, growth vem vem some coisa aí. Aí. from. This hair grass though is doing really well. So I'm going to take one of those Por out and isso, use galera? that in the foreground of the new tank. Parece coisa de loja, né? Nossa, tá muito com cara de muda de loja essas coisas, cara. Ele vai tirar um pouquinho antes. Não, ele vai abrir, acho que ele vai colocar tudo de uma vez, provavelmente. Hair Grace, anão. É tipo mato anão. Mato de cabelo. Não sei como é que vai é a tradução de Hair Grace. Mato de cabelo. Ele vai fazer várias mudinhas. Ó, oh, o Bonito esse aquário dele, hein? De disco. Aí vai fazer o plantio. Antes de colocar água, ajuda bastante. Às vezes a gente faz depois de colocar água, mas é porque a gente não tem. A gente tem que fazer um vídeo depois com as plantas. Aí acaba ficando complicado. So that's looking really good. I've kept it quite sparse deliberately. It's fun to watch stuff grow in. And it actually looks quite natural, doesn't it? Just sort of randomly plug them around. You know, don't yeah, think about too much. Just cara, to a a Some people like to do it like a grid, but I, I, I don't. I just like to put it in like that. It looks a bit more natural to me. Remember, all this will be slow growing, so it's not like we're gonna have a full carpet within like a week. <laughs> Maybe a month or so, but you know, take time. Crescer em um mês. So small plants like this guys need uh, misting very regularly when you're building your tank. They will dry up quickly, which is annoying for me though because I have to keep wiping the glass so you guys can see what I'm doing. Every it's okay though, it's worth it. It's worth the effort for you. Oh, there we go. We're all good. Now let's start putting our stem plants in. So we've got the stuff that we saved from the previous setup and then also turn you around. So this Talk is my Asian that. Fish Aquarium. Many of you will know this, but some of you won't because this will be the first time you've seen any of my videos. This is doing really well, but it's got some tá really nice stems I want to take out. Only a few because they're so healthy. So we've got the Cogostamon, the Reptus, this cool little narrow one there. We've got the Limnophila the back over here. Aí, this né? is a really nice plant. And because it's trimmed so many times now, you're seeing that they're staying quite compact and the leaves are quite small as well. So that'll suit our small tank. And then also in the middle there, we've got some 
some Rotala Rotunda Folia and some Rotala Green. So I'll just take a little bit of each of those. I think it'll look really good in the tank, keeping it in the I might take some Altenam for a as well. And you guys know there's going to be some pearl weed in this, right? Of course there's going to be some pearl weed. It wouldn't be an MD tank without it. He's going to make a pod and he's going to use the plants. He's going to use it. Olha os equipamentos dele, de, acho que desde 5 CO2. Nossa, esse cara realmente ama aquário plantado, né? <risos> Dá pra ver que ele ama mesmo. Ele tá fazendo as mudas. This way. So this is the Amazon Aquarium. Many of you know this é legal one. que ele aproveita para o aquário dele, né? And next to it, then we've got the Buddha tank. Nossa, olha esse aquário, galera. That's all coming soon. Que legal. Oh, looking so good, isn't it? Colocando and then next to that over here, we've got my racking system. So we've got all our shrimp over Bonito, this side. Né? A few fish Diferente. in this side. But this is the tank here that I want to take the pearl weed out of. That's some really, really healthy pearl weed. Very, very green. No algae or anything on it. So I'm going to take that as well. Aqui não falta é planta para ele, né? So we've got a great little selection of stem plants there. What I want to do now is just fill the tank up because I actually find it so much easier to plant stem plants when the water's in there. You can see how the plants are sitting. You can get them to the right height. You can adjust the angles. All that's good stuff, you know. Just fill it up for stems. Well, almost fill it up. We want to leave a little bit of a gap at the top so it doesn't overfill when uh, I put my hand in. Let's get this filled up now. You need to do it very slowly. I'm going to put some paper towel down first. Pour on top of that and just take your time. Even if it takes 10 minutes or so, it's worth it. Trust me. You don't want to disturb that sand. We don't want any of those nutrients getting up into the water column. If you do disturb it and get some in the water column just do another water change and because of course i've got all these different tanks around me that you can see i'm going to be using the water from these it's nice and mature and i find it's a really good start to a no filter tank and it also means i can add fish straight away if i add some beneficial bacteria and i'm also willing to do daily water changes for a good few weeks that's the only way you can get away with you know a fish in cycle that's what it's called a fish in cycle so if you're new to fish keeping and not done anything like that before, then you probably want to stay away from a fish in cycle and just do your research first but if you if you're experienced with fish and you're good at keeping them alive and you're good at keeping water, then you can do a fish in cycle which is what i'm going to do normally do it with a filter Parece ter mais microsoros. Mas está bem bonito o quadro dele, né? Ah, agora ele está começando a. So on the odd chance you haven't got a ton of tanks just sat around like me, and I don't know why you wouldn't. I recommend you fill a bucket full of water a couple of days before you want to try this, and that will just give a little time for the chlorine to just gas off the water. It'll also mean it'll be a good temperature to start this tank with. Now back to the plant, and I'm just going to crack straight on and do it all in one go. O Joia, Super Red. Mas aí colocou depois de colocar a água. Rotá-la. Ó, oh, uma dica bem legal. Agora ele tá fazendo, galera. Vocês estão vendo que ele pega várias plantas iguais e faz... É, agrupa elas. Não fica uma coisa meio jogada. Tem muita gente que coloca meio jogado, sabe? Ele colocou, pegou tudo muda mesmo de planta dele e aproveitou. Só que ele já tá podando aí pra já ficar mais ou menos um tamanho mais bonitinho. Hemofilia Cecilífora. A gente colocou essa planta no nosso aquário de camarão comunitário, vocês lembram? Ela é bem parecida com a cabomba. É a mesma família, vamos dizer assim. Ele fez uma TPA, uh, mais um really pouco. Now, I'm actually going to add a second one of these lights. They're so cheap that, you know, it doesn't matter anyway. And that should then give us the perfect amount of light that we're going to need. And let me just stick this one on as well. Ah, ele colocou so duas luminárias. Which I can, just Não about. Ficar fraco. Right, there we go. That's probably just the right amount of light. Maybe a little bit too much for a no-filter tank. But that's okay, because we're about to add in some floating plants. Now, of course, I've got lots of those. So right next to the tank is the Neon Tetra tank here. So this is a black water scape. I've left it to just do its own thing. So it's quite cool to watch that flowing algae there. These are the floating plants, which are now going straight right down into the substrate, believe it or not. Massively overcrowded. Whoa, that's way too much. Yeah, massively overcrowded at the top here. I need to take some of it out, because it's getting a bit silly now. But there's basically there's red root floaters in there, and there is Selvinia. Now, I think the best option for us with this salvia, tank is going to be a little bit of red root floaters. I think they'll look really good, wouldn't it? I mean, they are my favourite, and it seems silly not to use them. In the better tank in the other studio. Nossa, olha quanta we have got an absolute ton Meu of the red root floaters, and they are so so cool. Look at how good they look. Hello. Okay, legal. Right, yeah, let's just take yeah. some of these. I don't want too many because we'll get overcrowded in no time. Bonito, hein, galera. <laughs> Looking good. Now we've got every chance of success. Now, what about fish? Yeah, Dugan Ajin, beleza? No. Be perfect for the escape. Tirei, eu conversei com a galera. Here they are. Tank, é o primeiro aquário que a gente tá vendo. Shrimp. So, in this tank, we've got. What shrimp is it? Ah, the Boa noite, Shrimp. Hey, Luiz, beleza? Boa noite. Fish that we're talking about, guys, is the Chili Resporer. Ah, so got beleza. A while ago, Vou dar uma olhadinha depois, tank. Luiz. But I think that other little one is perfect for them because these are pretty much, I think, the smallest fish you can get, possibly. You know, these are like adult size already. Just for a sense of scale. Look, here they are up against. My finger. I mean, é essa rasbra, né? Tiny. Ela é bem pequenininha. So they'll go really well in that tank. I think I've got about 9 or 10 in here, so that'll be good. Não sei se é fácil de achar aqui. 
Aqui é mais fácil achar tetrafoguinho de tamanho menorzinho assim. So it turns out I've got six of the chili respawners. I think there's a few more in there, but they're hiding away, so I'll just get them at a later date. Now there's going to be no need to tank track make aquário, these meu. tanks all here. I set to room temperature, which is the same as the room dele, temperature in the other studio. Não tem so everything matches. Isso só coloca mais oxigenação. Colocou os já. É tudo a mesma água os aquários dele, né? Ele deve manter tudo igual. Remember guys, we're doing a fish in cycle, so we now also need bonitinho, to add our beneficial né? bacteria to the tank. Bonitinho, bem bonitinho. Ele colocou bactéria. So every day I'll do a 50% water change and more né? the beneficial bacteria. Remember this is a fish in cycle. Ah, If you're going to do that, olha só, galera. Sure you've got small fish. No começo very... ele troca 50% da água é, todos os dias durante o começo da ciclagem. Full bioload, like I've got here, and you need to be around and willing to do lots of water changes. Plus, beneficial bacteria all helps. Again, this is kind of only for experienced fish keepers, so if you're new, I wouldn't recommend it, and just do loads of research on cycling a tank first. Your night, Mary. Yay, beleza? Como é que tá? Boa noite. E valeu pelo follow. Bem bonitinha aquário, né, galera? Galera. Bem bonitinha. Eu curti. O que vocês acharam aí desse aquário? Que ele tem um fish room igual esse. <risos> Muito top, né? Vamos ficar caramujinho agora. <risos> é os Hashorn, né? E o canal dele não é tão grande assim. Tem mais ou menos a mesma quantidade de inscritos que eu tenho. Ah, ó. Depois tem esse daqui. Vale a pena a gente assistir esse vídeo depois, hein? Mas deixa pra próxima.